Hi, I'm Grant McComey, and welcome to another edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. You know, Oregon's beaches are popular destinations for all kinds of recreation activities, but here, along 18 miles of Clatsop County beaches, there's more recreation than meets the eye. You see, it's what you can't see along the sea that provides this week's Grant's Getaways, and I promise you, you'll dig this outdoor adventure. We're going razor clamming. There was one right there. Get him, get him. As springtime moves into high gear, the best low tides of the season bring a bounty of seafood close at hand. Okay, here we go, Grant. There's all kinds of them here. Right here. See him? Steve Fick likes to say when the tide goes out, his dinner table is set with razor clams. These look like clams right here. We're looking for dimples in the sand. Steve grew up in Astoria, and he digs his recreation. Let's try that one. Straight down, straight up and down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's an enthusiastic teacher too. This is just like Easter egg hunting. Who shows a newcomer how it's done with a clam gun. Here's one right here. There you go. Two that. for two, Grant. <laughs> Jeez, you're good. Here's one right here. Love to watch him work, don't you? It's hard to call this work when the clams are so plentiful. In fact, Vic notes that it's the best season in years. More than 800,000 razor clams will be harvested off 18 miles of shoreline between Seaside and the Columbia River. And that's where 95% of the clams in Oregon are dug, is on this beach right here. Vic is an old hand at this game. There's a clam. He can even spot a clam in the surf. Sometimes when they're feeding, they're, they will stick their neck out of the ground and they'll make a little V here, and we call them neckers. Today now, we've got some neckers showing. Here's one over here. He uses a short handle shovel with a long steel blade. Okay, you go about two inches on the side of the hole, and then you pull towards the hole, and you pull the sand up as you do it and you reach your hand in underneath, and generally, you'll feel the neck, and you'll pull the neck out and pull the clam up, but you don't want to pull too hard or you'll pull the neck off. You want to dig one with a shovel? There you go, right there. No. no. You already did the wrong thing. <laughs> it's a technique that takes time to get a handle on, so for me, it's soon back to the gut. A license is required for clam diggers 14 and over, each clammer must dig his own limit of 15 razors, and you cannot put any back. It's a great recreation, and it's uh, a good food source. Too. I was going to say, isn't the best yet to come? Yes. Let's go eat some. <laughs> we'll go ahead and rinse those off and get all that sand off the shell. So we got a good, clean clam here. Vic okay. says skilled now, in the kitchen is on the beach, and he makes quick work of our limits. First, he opens the shells. Okay, you see how those clams are popping out now? And then he pours icy cold water across the hot clams. So they get the hot water bath and a cold water bath. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and now they won't cook either. A few quick flicks with the knife, and he's cleaned the clam. We're gonna turn this on medium high. We want that to get good and hot. An egg bath is followed by a drenching in cracker meal. See, now these are smacking away, they're like they're supposed to. There, there we go. And that, that heat to it also seals it. Now we're getting better at this, aren't we? That looks dandy. We don't want to cook these too long. What happens if you overcook them? They're a little chewy. <laughs> you don't want to overcook Right, you do not want to overcook It's satisfying reward for the morning's adventure, the sort of stuff that builds memories of the Oregon outdoors. A lot of enjoyment to come down here on a nice morning and dig clams and walk around and take a whole family down here. You want to time your visit to the Clatsop County Beach area about an hour or so before low tide. You can find that information, as well as Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife's rules and regulations on razor clamming on the Travel Oregon website. Now let's take a look at next week's edition of Grant's Getaways. 
The scale of Oregon's newest state park campground is huge, and the sights that you will see are awesome. Get away from town, get up here and enjoy a wooded setting. We've got beautiful views of the coast range up here that are just spectacular. Spectacular Stub Stewart State Park sprawls across 1,700 forested acres in easy to reach Washington County. Just beautiful up here. Where hikers, bikers, and horseback riders enjoy million dollar views at every turn. Being in the outdoors and just seeing the beautiful sights you can see on horseback only. We saddle up and join the riders who help design and build the facilities plus miles of trails. And this gets me out in the outdoors where I love with both things, both outdoors and horses. So it's a double whammy. <laughs> Stub Stewart State Park, a campground as close as your own backyard. It works for me. And it'll work for you too, so don't miss it. So until next week, Get out here and make your own outdoor adventure dreams come true and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.